Modeling is a process that uses math to represent, analyze, make predictions, or otherwise provide insight into real-world phenomena. It begins with defining the problem statement. Next, you make assumptions to help simplify the process. Now it's time to define the details of your model. Defining variables are really important because it helps you understand what, how your equation is going to work. It tells you everything that's going into your equation, and that way you can focus on defining each variable and how you're going to solve for them. The variables you need to develop your solution come from the perspective of the problem statement. Dependent variables are often called outputs. They represent the information you seek. Independent variables, also known as inputs, represent quantities you know the value of, but may change. Fixed model parameters represent constants, those quantities that remain the same. You have to figure out what you know and what you don't know in your model, and whatever you don't know is what you need to define. Once you figure out what you don't know and what you do know, then you can define your variables. Let's say you're a painter. Before you start a job, you'll need some information that will help you determine how many gallons of paint to buy for each room of the house. You can take measurements to calculate the size of each room, those are your independent variables, or inputs. You also know how many square feet a particular brand of paint will cover. That's a fixed parameter. The only thing you don't know is the volume of paint you'll need. So that's the dependent variable, or output, you seek. Once you've figured that out, you're well on your way to finding a solution. In this case, buy two gallons of paint. When we listed out all the possible things that could change, the ones that we really deemed irrelevant went to assumptions, but the ones that we deemed extremely, extremely relevant went into our variables. The most important part about determining your variables is understanding the problem. If you understand the problem, the variables are just right there in front of you. Here are some things to remember when defining variables. Your problem statement will define the output or dependent variable of your model. Your initial brainstorming should give you the clues to define your independent dependent, and fixed model parameters. Keep track of the units of measurement you're using because they can reveal relationships between variables. You may need to do additional research or make new assumptions to find values or parameters. Submodels or multiple models may be needed to reveal certain model input. Your problem definition combined with your assumptions will help you find the variables you need giving you the tools to build your model and paint a clear picture of the next step in the process, getting a solution. For more information about the mathematical modeling process, log on to m3challenge.siam.org.